In the Latka Volterra competitive two-species model, we've been doing a lot of work classifying equilibria, but we're not done. There are a few unanswered questions. Let's keep going. The fourth equilibrium we haven't talked about yet. That equilibrium that is located where x equals 1 minus alpha over 1 minus alpha times beta, and y equals 1 minus beta over 1 minus alpha times beta. Ooh, that's an interesting equilibrium. Because it's not always physically realistic in the way that the others are. Remember, we need these population sizes to be non-negative. So this equilibrium requires either that alpha and beta are both less than one, or alpha and beta are both greater than one. If we have a, a mixture between the two, then this equilibrium is not physically realistic because you've got some negative populations. Now, it's gonna take a little bit of work for you to substitute these values into that derivative, compute the trace, compute the determinant, but if you do that, what you will find is that in the first case, where alpha and beta are both small, what we have is a sink and in the second case, when alpha and beta are large, what you have is a saddle. Now, I know that's going to take a little bit of work, but you can do it. What I want to focus on is what these mean. In the case where alpha and beta are less than one, where you have a sink, both population sizes are positive. This is a cooperative equilibrium. This is peace. This is two companies carving out a space in the market where they both have market share. On the other hand, where alpha and beta are both bigger than one, this is an equilibrium that does not have the stability that a sink has. This is called competitive exclusion. This means that you move away from that fragile equilibrium just a little bit, and the unstable direction of that saddle sends you careening off. But off where? How do all of these local pictures for the different equilibria fit together? That is something that we're going to have to take a look at. There's really no substitute for just simulating the dynamics and looking at what happens for different values of alpha and beta, where you can see competitive exclusion, or if you change those values, you can get a single winner and a single loser. Or if alpha and beta are both small, you get a cooperative equilibrium, that sink at non-zero population values. Now you could spend a lot of time really digging into the details of the system at different parameter values. Let me pull out one thing in particular that's kind of interesting. If we look at the case of competitive exclusion, where we have that saddle point at the positive-positive equilibrium, then one of the things that you will notice is that your long-term behavior can be very sensitively dependent on your initial conditions. Let's say that both populations start off small and they get larger and larger and larger being pushed away by that sink. They get close to the saddle point, but they, they just miss it and they veer off in the unstable direction and they head towards one of the two sinks where one startup company has complete dominance and the other is bankrupt. But here's the thing. If you change your initial condition just a tiny bit, then both startups can be growing, growing, everything's fine. In fact, the two solutions look really, really close until they get close to that saddle point. And then, depending on what side of that stable direction you come into, you might get sent to one side winning or the other. Now this curve that follows in along the direction of the stable eigenvector, this is something called a separatrix, and it is very cool. You'll be seeing those again later in dynamical systems.